back to Fuzzy Walrus Industries. I'm Walcom, and today it's time for Tag Back, the show where every week we take a look at a blaster from the past to see what it could offer us today in the present. And this time! I don't even think this thing's that old. You gotta be kidding me. This thing's over five years old now? I remember buying this at Walmart in Idaho. And I've got a really good story about this. I think everybody has been burned by this blaster at some point, and I'm sure that's going to bring all the lovers of this blaster out from under the woodwork in the dark depths of which they dwell to say, the nerf Mega Centurion isn't really that bad. And you know, that's perfectly honest, it really isn't that bad. But I've got one complaint right out of the box about this blaster. Hasbro, you sold... A sniper rifle without a scope! No, that's not a joke. A freaking bolt action sniper rifle that is the replacement to the long shot of the long strike and yet didn't include a freaking optic. I don't even know how that's possible. And that's just one of the many dumb decisions that birthed the Saturion. This was the first Mega Blaster release in 2013. Like, this was kind of like the, we called the old darts, like the Mega Darts, and this shot new Mega Darts, so now there's new Mega Darts and old Mega Darts, and everything's all kinds of confusing. But when this thing was leaked, when it was posted on the internet, and people were just hyped as all heck, because it was a return to the long shot. People liked their sniper rifles, people wanted big plunger tubes, and lots of power, and this thing just rolls up, and it's like, yo, and you're like, oh my god. And then it actually comes out, you buy one, and it sucks. And it didn't include the scope. Did I mention that already? What you see here is what you get. You get the Centurion. The barrel actually pops off, but once you clip it in, it doesn't come back off. You get six Mega Darts. You get a six-round Mega Dart magazine, and you get a foldable bipod. You included a bipod, and yet didn't include a scope. That's just the dumbest thing I- Who- Whose idea? I'm sure there's a good reason, but it wasn't good enough to put out a sniper rifle. Like, the long shot had a scope. The long strike had a cool little flip-up sight. This doesn't include any of that. Why? And no, I'm not going to stop harping about that. I'm probably going to bring it up again. But my gosh, this thing is super freaking pretty. And it's, uh, claims ranges of up to 100 feet. Hence the name, the Centurion. Yeah, uh, maybe with, a uh, you know, downhill with a tailwind. Maybe. This thing <laughs> broke a lot of hearts because everybody thought it was going to be great. It cost $50. I bought one and it was terrible. Because, well, we'll get to the internals, but the way this thing works is kind of unlike any other blaster. In fact, it, it works really cool. For one, with the bolt closed, you can actually remove the mag. It's straight up in there. Like, the bolt isn't there. The bolt shoots out when you prime it. Which is really weird. It's a super complex mechanism that really just plagues this entire blaster. It's cool, and my gosh, that kathunk. Oh, it, it just sounds... So good. Uh, wow! My ears are ringing. That felt kind of good. So very, very good. This thing is amazing. Lee Bad. I really, really wish I could sit here and say lots of good things about this because it looks rad. It's got a thumbhole stock, it's got nice big attachment points for a sling because it has to, it's physically massive. It is the largest Nerf Blaster, to my knowledge, thus far. And it included an N-Strike bipod, which folds down, which, I mean, that was pretty cool in and of itself. You just like do that, it's kind of adjustable, and you can go like that, set it on the ground, and be a super cool sniper guy. Without a scope. Without a scope. But, does it actually function? Well, the Mega Darts in question were kind of weird because they were, in fact, a new ammo type at the time, and they were, well, not very durable, but they whistle great, but they weren't very durable, and they were stupidly expensive. I think, like, a 12-pack was, like, six bucks. They were, like, 50 cents a dart, 
It was just ridiculous. And, well, they did come out with a, like, value version of this blaster later on that was sold at Costco that could give you two magazines, but other than that, they never sold a magazine with it. Like, another extra one that you couldn't buy the magazine separately. Hasbro has a tendency to do that, and it's, like, my number one pet peeve. Originally, this thing, I, I mean, from now on, if your blaster is going to have a detachable dart magazine and you can't load it from the top or something, it needs to come with two. Yes, even the Chaos. I would have paid 80 to $90 for a Chaos above its like $70 MSRP if it would have came with two magazines. Because what's the point of making the magazine removable if I only get one of them and then you never sell them separately? Yes, they brought out a Chaos magazine later, you know, a year and a half later after the blaster came out. And by then we already had the Nemesis, so nobody cared. I'm extra salty, but I, I do like the Centurion. It just looks cool. It doesn't really have a good, like, foregrip area. You can kind of do that. But it's just super comfortable, and it looks cool, and just that time. Oh, it's so good. Then you fire a dart out of it. And hey, that one actually left the barrel. And it flew particularly far. It does have its moments. I will give it that. But most of the time, you're either going to jam, it's going to jam or it's just not, nothing's gonna come out of it. Let's try it again. Ah, that one too. Now, this blaster does work far better if you don't have the massive dead space barrel on the front of it, but then it doesn't look nearly as cool. Wow, three for three. That's almost unheard of in Centurion uses. And to be perfectly honest, my original Centurion, I never really had a problem with it. The only problem I had is that some of the shots would just barely leave the barrel and others would go sailing. And they do go sailing a pretty darn freaking distance. But that doesn't make up for the fact that thing still doesn't have a scope. And there is no mega scope. Like, you could put a scope on this, but it's not gonna match the blaster. Maybe if you had like the, the red strike long shot scope, like that would just, oh my God. Oh, I suddenly need a red strike long shot scope, but I'm, I'm never gonna get one. So we're just gonna do this again. Four for four? Woo, that's the farthest one yet. That, that one sucked. Yeah, this is Centurion. And to be perfectly honest, the worst part about this blaster, because I bought it for one specific reason, look at the size of that prime. You've got huge prime, that means you have huge plunger tube. Well, yeah, kinda, it does. It has have a massive freaking plunger tube. That is, uh, has a bunch of holes drilled into it. Slots cut out of it. And it's reverse plungered! Yeah, 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 reverse plungered. They reverse plungered this thing. Like, I don't get it, I really don't. There are other ways to minimize power to sell your thing so kids don't put like screwdrivers down these things and drill holes into the family dog from 200 yards away because they saw a YouTube video. There's other ways to prevent that. I mean, the thing is already needlessly complicated, but then you take the plunger tube, you make it reverse, and that wasn't good enough. Then you put slots in the plunger tube so it doesn't get full. Oh my God. This thing, this thing, you can't forgive this blaster. It was expensive, $50 at the time, was pretty free. That was the same price of like the Stampede. And if they were to bring out the Stampede now, that thing would cost $100. I don't know what happened to toys, but they got way more expensive. This thing? 50 bucks, barely worked, jammed constantly, ammo was stupid expensive, it had a removable magazine that didn't ever go to anything else, it was never sold with anything else, it didn't have a scope, and the pistol Magnus that they came out with after the fact was better in every single way. And then they just gave up. You got the Cyclone Shock, the Big Shock, the Mega Thunder Bow, the Lightning Bow, now you get things like the freaking Thunderhawk or whatever it is, which is ridiculous. And, and this thing's like, what's the point of buying this now? Well, if you were doing like the Ruby cosplay Crescent Rose kind of thing, you basically are contractually obligated to use this in some fashion because it's like already half the thing you need to make. And I'm pretty sure people have done that like six or seven times now. And uh, I made one into a gun lance from Monster Hunter. It doesn't do like the break action thing. I, I guess I could probably have made it do that, but I just wanted to poke people and shoot darts. Uh, and then of course the video that I put up earlier of Lance's afterburnered one is like the, uh, it, it, it's afterburnered 
it, it shoots really far, but I mean, y y y notice most of these are not internal modifications. This thing is like really stupidly complex and dumb inside and the internals suck. People have tried. People have tried to make these shoot elite darts. People have tried to make them direct plunger. I think some have succeeded, some have failed. I think most have failed. I say some have succeeded, but at the same time, I, I, I don't remember like, oh my gosh, you remember that stupidly powerful modded direct plungered Centurion? I can remember, oh, some people have tried, but I don't think anybody has really succeeded. And that's the problem with a Centurion. Screw you. So the question remains, what's the point of picking one of these things up? Cosmetically? Cool. Collector's value? Cool. Cutting it up like taking this half of the blaster and putting something else on it like a strife? Cool. Any other use? It's not a performance thing. I mean, yeah, you could probably fit some pretty crazy flywheel things in here, HPA systems, but it's, it's not a performance blaster. And it pretty much never will be. It's the Mega Centurion. It is Disappointment Incarnate, and it was the first time that I have ever been stupidly burned by a Nerf Blaster. And it probably won't be the last time, but at least now, when I get stupidly burned by a Nerf Blaster, I get to make a video about it, and then a bunch of kids are like, I don't know what you're talking about, the Battle Scout cam thing is super great, and you're dumb because you have an opinion, and I'm on the internet, and I'm a viewer on the internet, and I can't handle opinions. Let me know what you think about the Nerf Mega Centurion down in the comment section below. I am very interested to hear just how many people absolutely love this blaster and think it's the greatest thing ever and how wrong I am. I don't think I am. I mean, I bought one with my own money five years ago, and it sucked then, and it sucked now. I'm welcome. Thank you very much for watching this video, and of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. I just wish it was good. I mean, I want to do the whole... Sniper rifle, ooh, boom, 200 yards, headshot, yeah!